only enough to lull you into a sense of <laughs> oh timing or what hello and welcome back to the extra crank in episode three of the ultimate 2020 kirkhill mountain bike trail ride This episode takes us away from the chaos and the confusion of the dense southern part of this trail network and up to Tyabagger Hill and the famous Tappy Tower via some lesser known and lesser used single track. First off, right from the car park there's this little unnamed chute that's a really good challenge and it certainly gets your attention right at the very start of your ride. Now I know that this mini series it isn't very rock and roll but this place is quite special to me. And so I really hope that this video series remains a valid record of this biking venue for many years to come. So thanks for all your support, views, likes, comments, and for subscribing. So on the left here is the start of Corner Cut, but at the exact same place on the trail if you turn right, it's the start of this little, little trail that is basically just a fun bit of single track that takes you further north. So everything you've seen so far has all been down the hill towards A96. Whereas this way it's just a small fun little bit of single trail with a couple of undulations and two or three little descents that take you uh, kind of onto a T-junction with a big fire road where you can either go left and do Tyabagger Hill which is what I'm showing you today or right and go and do Hill of Marcus, which I'll film very shortly. First little bit of downhill. Nothing to get too excited about, but a nice warm up anyway. Oh, I'm right into a headwind today. So just keep going up the gears keep the pedals turning and finally you're rewarded with this bit of descent gets a bit narrow through a little wall here and these roots are a bit slick and that was deeper than I thought <laughs> hang on left onto this little rusty track and before you know it you're at the start of a a lovely little one called Hidden Treasures which starts just there Hidden Treasures Now it's not a particularly steep trail so the key is just to let off the brakes <laughs> he says braking pump through the holes and carry the speed relatively difficult when you're on flats to get any pedal strokes in along here you've just got to get them in where you can and pump where you can't and before you know it you're out into this brighter bit of wood. Now it's just a short push up from the bottom of Hidden Treasures up to the start of another little unnamed trail. So just approaching the top of the push up from Hidden Treasures. There's a bit of single track here, which heads off down that way, which is the way I'm gonna go. Um, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna push up left a little bit, A to get a little bit more speed and B just to show you a couple of small features that have been built here over the last year or two by the way if you don't do hidden treasures so where I turned right onto hidden treasures if you stay on that little bit of single track that then becomes this bit of single track coming towards me so the bit I did down there through hidden treasures was really just a detour um, so just bear that in mind you won't necessarily have to push back along this trail if you if you don't do hidden treasures so a couple of these features, there's a gap jump here, an optional uh, trail off just to the right, 
and there's another gap jump here although a bit smaller and a bit more forgiving not much of a run in for them this is really the very top of this bit of hill so this is now completely level pedal like hell I think right I'm fully expecting to case these no that's the wrong attitude no I'm fully expecting to clear these let's come up to the gates fast Yeah! Cleared them. Probably don't get many points for style on that second one. But clearing it's what matters. So I just pushed up here just to show you. So now I'm heading back down towards a little unnamed technical trail. Which is actually quite tricky really. It's certainly difficult to keep your speed up on it. So the push up from Hidden Treasures comes out here. If you hang a right, you've got this horrible 90 degree bend, which just saps all your speed before this slightly flat, but very, very technical bit of single track. Everything just waiting to catch your pedals. There's probably like four or five small little areas where you can pedal. That's difficult, those steps, they get worse every year. And then this little shoot to finish. It's quite steep. So really everything that I've shown you so far, those single tracks, uh, little undulations, a couple of unnamed trails and hidden treasures, all of that really is just to make it a more interesting ride from the car park. If you come up from the car park, stay on the main fire road, you come out of here and join up here. That's by far the quickest way to get to the, to the tower. Big green sign there. Tappy Tower to the right. Can't miss it. There's really four ways down to the fire road, the looping fire road that circles this tower. As you come up, to the left, you've got Fleet the Tower. Straight ahead, you've got Tower Descent. And then about a third of the way down, you can turn up to the right on a trail called Sidetracked, which comes back down to the same road down there. Or you can turn right down a track called The Escape, which is a good one, a bit less steep, um, and a bit overgrown last time I rode it. So I'm gonna do all three in this kind of like clockwise direction. Uh, Quick fire time. Up first, flee the tower. The most natural of the three, I think. Lots of nice turns, a few roots to catch you out, and a few stumps that have been left in the ground. The best thing about this trail is the steep, natural, loamy finish. It's coming up in a sec. Just hit. Be brave as you can, off the brakes. Oh, before stopping for this. <laughs> Shoot at the bottom. And we turn left to get back to the climb. Right, next up. Tower descent straight into a headwind. Ooh, that was close. Generally stay left along here. Oh, this wind is a killer.
back up for round three, which will be the same line, but with the optional side tracked. This is my first mechanical on the Capra. Unfortunately, that is a dented rim and it's letting air out. Sealant seems to have done its thing. Seems to be holding now, but it's far too soft. Luckily, I always carry a little pump. I just hope that wheel's not too far out of true. Oh dear. Horrible weave in there now. Right, tower descent again, but this time I'm taking the little option to the right. Oh, I'm trying to be as gentle as I can on that rear wheel. <laughs> So, this is your little right hand turn. It's quite easy to miss if you're not used to it, but. And a completely different character of trail. Quite quick. Ah, oh, my tire's gone flat again. Okay, so the final way down from the tower is this trail on the right called the Escape. It was a bit overgrown last time I rode it and it is by far the least steep. In fact, if anything, it's a bit of a pedal fest. Certainly at the start, super flat. Ooh. Just got hit in the face by a bee. Glad I didn't arrive arse first. Up till this point here, and then it becomes a little bit more slopey down. Lots of square edge rocks again that I'm being ultra careful of now. Because I can feel that rear tyre not at the correct inflation. Ah, oh, these gorses have been cut back a bit actually. Not quite as bad as I remember. Oh no, here it comes. Now if you were to just do Tire Bagger Hill, I'd recommend you do that one last, because then it spits you out here. And you can head down that way, either straight back down to the car park, or to the start of all those trails I showed you in the first couple of episodes. Um, however, there is another way down, and that is a trail called Tight as a Badger's the climb that I've done uh, four times now today but just past it this way there's a little trail off to the left right at the very top of this bit of fire road and this is the start of a trail called tight as a badges it's one of my favorites here it's a little bit slower and a little bit more technical so here we go starts off like a couple of the others before long you can see how it gets its name Right, there's a couple of lines here. There's the outside and the inside. And I've never really made the inside work. So I'd say the outside is your best bet. There's a couple of these little things where you've got to get a couple of pedal strokes in to carry your speed. And it is narrow. They've invented dropper posts. Can someone please invent extendy bars? Ooh, yep. 
think that was the last of my air on my rear tyre again. That rock is lethal in the wet, by the way. Quite easy in the dry. Opens up just a tad for a few seconds, but only enough to lull you into a sense of... Oh, <laughs> oh timing or what? Oh, it's my rear tyre just flat. Right, we'll pick this up in a moment. Not going to be setting the Strava record on this one. Right. Oh no, bent my lever. No. Oh no, what a pain. Oh, I can still reach it. It'll do. Oh, you don't need to be able to reach front brake lever anyway. It's overrated. Oh, it feels so weird. Bit of a stretch. I'm all out of sorts. Well, on the bright side, I think that's every trail now ridden, except for those at the very top, which is Hill of Marcus. Uh, obviously I've ridden them before, but not in this series. So, in the next episode, I'll show you all of those. Come on, I need to do some repairs first. Since filming this episode, I straightened my lever blade with a set of mole grips, a hairdryer for some heat, and an 8mm Allen key for a brace. More of a bodge than a hack, but it does seem to have done the trick. I've also ordered a new rim, a 359 Vibracore from Spank, which I'm really excited to try out. Although the E13 did get trued, that flat spot is pretty big and I've got some laps booked at Adrenaline Uplift down in Inlethan in a couple of weeks, so I really don't want to take any chances. Until next time though, I've been the Extra Crank and I'll see you on the next one.